Welcome to day 9 of the 2023 Advent of Code. So today's problem was one of the simplest we've seen this entire year for some reason, even though it's a weekend and it's already day 9. Skipping past all the story, we have a bunch of lines of integers. Each of these is the history of a single value that is changing over time. We want to produce an environmental report that predicts the next value of each sequence. To do this, we take the differences at each step. So we basically take the consecutive differences, so 3 minus 0 is 3, 6 minus 3 is 3, 9 minus 6 is 3, etc. If that isn't all zeros, we repeat the process. So we keep taking the differences until we reach all zeros. Once we've reached all zeros, we start extrapolating. To extrapolate all zeros, we add a zero. And then for each subsequent difference going up, we just add the last new value to the current last value, and that gives us our new value. So 3 plus 0 is a, which is 3. 15 plus a, so 15 plus 3, is b, which is 18. Likewise here, we obtain all zeros at the third difference, and then we add an extra zero. 1 plus 0 gives us our next value 1, 6 plus 1 gives us 7, 21 plus 7 gives us 28. And so this is a relatively straightforward implementation. We can define an extrapolate function if all values in the array are 0, then we can just return 0. Otherwise, we'll do this recursively. So exactly as the problem specifies, we will take the consecutive differences, we can call that deltas, uh, I'll show you a neat trick to do that in a bit. And then we can just extrapolate it. So diff is extrapolate of the deltas. And then we can just return the last value of our current array plus the last uh, plus the new extrapolated diff. So extrapolate will return a number given an array. So then we can just return the last element of our array plus diff. Now to calculate deltas, we can use a neat trick here. So in case you're not familiar with Python's zip function, it takes in two arrays, or two or more arrays, and returns each of the columns. So essentially what it does is it first gives you all of the first elements, then it gives you all of the second elements, etc. So if we zip 1, 2, 3, with 4, 5, 6, we get 1, 4, followed by 2, 5, followed by 3, 6. And one interesting thing we can do is if we zip an array, with itself shifted to the left by one, so with the first element cut off, we get the first element of each, and of course the first element of the array with its first element removed is the second element. And likewise, the second element of that new array is the third element. And so this gives us a very easy way to get all consecutive overlapping pairs. And so we can do zip of array with, array with the first element chopped off, for x, y in that, we can just do y minus x, and that will give us the forward co uh, consecutive differences. Now it's just input processing. So we want to return the sum, and so we can just say for line in open zero, uh, nums is list of space separated integers like that, and then we can just total plus equals extrapolate nums. And that gives us our answer for part one. Moving straight into part two, this is trivial. Instead of extrapolating forwards, we want to extrapolate backwards. It's literally the same thing, but instead of returning the last element of our array plus the delta, we take the first element of our array and subtract the delta. It is literally a three character difference, and that's the answer for part two. So I'm honestly pretty confused with how the questions were ordered this year. This seemed shockingly easy. It's a weekend and it's already day nine, and I feel like this was honestly the easiest problem we've had so far. But in any case, I hope you still learned something nonetheless, and thank you for watching.